Good morning from England. I'm here with my friend Dave. This is Dave in Japan, Chris's alter ego. <laughs> Yet it's Chris's videos. We're um, hanging out in Canterbury today and I realized that there are so many Japanese restaurants here. It's wild. We're walking down the street and we've seen like three of them so far. And I really wanted to test out Japanese food here in England and see if they're any good at making it. I have only really had Japanese food in Canada outside of Japan and we're really good at doing sushi because we're right on the coast where I live and the fish is really fresh and it's nice but we don't do ramen in Canada in Victoria where I am. We never had a ramen shop so I've never tried ramen in Canada but here in England I had it last week at a place called Shoryu and I was really pleasantly surprised. It was really good. And Natsuki's had it and he said it was amazing. Natsuki loves her ramen. Oh, amazing. And today we're gonna check out, is it Korean cowgirl? Yeah, Korean cowgirl, <laughs> interesting name. Doesn't sound overly Japanese. <laughs> I believe they do like a variety of Korean and Japanese foods and stuff, but they, uh, they do Japanese ramen and we're gonna taste that and see if it's as good as the one we had in London. We're also gonna go for sushi. And they have a cat cafe here in Canterbury. It just opened. I'm so lucky because that's timed perfectly for our trip. So tomorrow we have a reservation of the cat cafe. Chris is going to join us because he loves cats. And then we're going to bring you guys around Canterbury and show it to you. It's amazing. It's really beautiful. I love it here. And the weather is really good. I don't know why people complain about British weather. It's, it's been so hot beautiful. since we've been back. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Heat, meat, eat. <laughs> that's very <British. laughs> restaurants are really cool looking. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this, but I love it. Signature cheeky ramen. What's that? Chashu pork belly, extra creamy garlic tonkotsu, miso soy. What's a soy egg? I guess it's an egg that's just been like soaked in a bit of soy sauce. Oh, I okay. I was thinking it was like a vegan egg. Bring onion and nori. Oh, I might get that. Yeah, maybe I'll get their it. signature ramen. I feel like you have to, right? Uh, and I have the garlic butter chicken ramen. The garlic butter chicken Jeez. ramen. That's everything for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's Taste. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it doesn't taste like Japanese ramen. It looks like ramen, but it tastes like more of a Western soup, like really creamy, kind of like a carbonara, which isn't a bad thing. It, it's yummy, but the ramen that I had at Shogu the other day tasted like Japanese ramen. So if you're looking for an authentic Japanese ramen, I think I recommend Shogu. Let's try the egg. Oh, you don't have any chashu? No. Oh, okay, you can have mine. I've got Hold two me. of them. So. Do you want some of the chicken? Yeah. Right, we're going to do a meat swap. Meat swap. Good so summer days. I am stuffed. That was super filling. Like I said, the soup broth did not remind me of a soup broth that you can find in Japan, but it was creamy and nice and yummy. My only criticism is the noodles were way too soft. In Japan, you can often choose how firm your ramen noodles are, which is fun. Lots of the restaurants will let you take a little box and choose how firm you want them. That's my only criticism. Flavor-wise, it was really delicious. I can hear. Yeah. And I haven't got too much down my t-shirt. So <laughs> nice. No, I agree, yeah, it was really good. I tend to prefer the firmer noodles, so if I go to like itchy ran, I always pick the firmer ones. But yeah. yeah, it's good. So it came to 43 pounds for the two of us. That's including a 12% tip. So not super expensive. Interesting place, I'm glad we came here. 
If you would like to get your hands on your own Japanese snacks, check out today's sponsor, Sakurako. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that sources their snacks directly from local Japanese snack makers. Inside each box, you will find 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, as well as teas and a Japanese tableware item each month. The theme of this month is the Autumn Moon Festival, known as Tsukimi in Japanese. The name Tsukimi literally translates as moon viewing, and many people like to celebrate Tsukimi in Japan by having a cozy picnic under a full moon, enjoying fall treats like dango and chestnuts, as well as rabbit-themed sweets. You can celebrate autumn together with Sakura Ko this year with this tasty box of moon festival themed treats. Inside you will find beautiful snacks like this full moon cookie. Salty, but sweet at the same time. And also this cute rabbit shaped marshmallow. Bunnies are associated with spring and Easter in the West, but in Japan they see them as a symbol of the autumn moon festival. So you will see lots of bunny themed stuff. Ooh. It's like a squishy jelly donut, which pairs perfectly with the Hatomugi tea that is included in this month's box. It's sweet, but it's got that roasted flavor. This might be my favorite Sakura Ko tea to date. You also find a beautiful booklet inside that tells you all about the Autumn Moon Festival and also includes allergen information about all the snacks you'll find inside this box. You can find the link down below in the description box and you can use my code Charmeleon for $5 off your first box. All right, we have entered Sainsbury's because we're gonna check out the supermarket sushi. about my favorite teas all the time. This is them, Yorkshire Tea Brand. All their flavors are good, but the biscuit one is delicious. Recently, I've really liked the toast and jam, so I recommend that as well. But if you are trying to cut your caffeine like I am, the decaf bedtime tea is really nice before bed. So how do you recommend that? I wanna check out the um, pet section while we're here. I don't know English where it is. English tea. But yeah. <laughs> it comes in so weird, I love it. We're gonna check out the pet section because I like stocking up on snacks for the cats while I'm in England. They have lots of healthy options, if I can find it. It's all scramble. <laughs> calming treats for cats and kittens. What's calming about them? What do they put in it? It's like catnip. Your hypno. <laughs> it's valerian root. That's pretty cool, actually. In the bonkers. I bought so many toys for the cats. Where did they go? We went on a road trip somewhere and there was a huge pet store. So we stopped in there and I got so much stuff. Sushi gourmet. Oh wow, there's quite a bit. Have you ever had it before? Yeah. I miss this kind of sushi. They don't really do this in Japan. Rolls with like spicy mayo and crunchy stuff. Shall we try one? I think we have to now. We have to now. This looks pretty good. It's sushi time. I'm not even hungry. I'm just so curious what supermarket sushi is like mm. here. So you're not hungry and I don't like fish. Perfect. This would be a perfect test. <laughs> I mean, I like, what is it? What have we got? You salmon. like magro and you like salmon in Japan. Yeah. In if like it's not fishy. Dish. Yeah. If it's not fishy, you like it. Okay. Well, the presentation's good. <laughs> it looks good. It does, yeah. Hmm. Not bad? It's quite good, yeah. Really? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I really wasn't expecting mm. you to like it. Mmm. It's nice. What the heck? I love the chili powder. It's quite spicy. It is actually Mmm. I would get that again. That's a revelation. Now when I'm at the supermarket here looking for a lunch, I'll get the sushi. I never would have before. Because I've had some pretty crap supermarket sushi in Canada. I'd give that like a 9 out of 10. If the rice was a little bit softer. It would be perfect. It was really good. Where shall we go? What shall we do? I want to have some more Japanese food tonight. There's one more restaurant I want to try. Oh, I has... know a nice little local Japanese place. <laughs> Waga Mama. Waga Mama is just the most ridiculous name for a restaurant. Do you know what it means? Like, why is uh, Japan? Is it Japanese? Oh, like, uh, yeah. Wagyu. Yeah, it could be. Wagyu. Yeah. Waga Mama, Japanese mum. <laughs> That's actually really cute. 
if it meant that, that would be nice, but no, it actually means selfish. So when I first saw that they had a restaurant called that, I was really confused. Maybe it's like, keep it all to yourself. Like all the food, because yeah. it's so good, you want it all. You don't want to share. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Ooh, because we're on the street, I'm gonna walk up here and show you guys one of my favorite tea rooms. I've been to it twice now. It's not the IT store, is it? It I is not. It's that kind of tea store. It's not that IT. <laughs> No, <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool shop. They've got um, like a history of Apple in the window here. It just reminds me of high school. Sad as that. Here we are, they're closed, so I can't show you guys inside, but we can take a peek at the cakes and I'll show you some footage from when I was here the other day. This place is amazing and I really recommend it. If you're in Canterbury and you would like a nice afternoon tea. I just had the best idea. So instead of going to Wagamama, for dinner. We're gonna go there, pick up some gyoza and a couple other things so we can test out the Japanese food. And then we're gonna go to McDonald's because they have Pikachu Happy Meals at the moment and they come with a pack of Pokemon cards. And I'm not gonna pass that up because we don't have that in Japan for some reason. They're only doing it in England as far as I know. And also check out this cool building behind me. What is it? That's actually the old um, prison, the old jail. So next to it is a pub called The Pound. Yeah. And you know like private boots with like a table in that you can sit and have a drink. And you yeah. Can them. They have them in there, but they're actually old prison cells. No way. You can actually sit what? and have a drink. Does it have like a cage on it, like a prison? Yeah, it's got like a prison door. Oh. You can go up there and you can go over and you can go into the old prison and there's a prison what? escape room. That's so well. cool. So it's pretty good. Should we go there tonight? I kind of want to go. That's really cool. Yeah, let's open check it our, out. Uh, we can open our Pokemon cards in the pound. <laughs> in the pound, why not? <laughs> Here we are. Fancy dinner at McDonald's. I really hope they have the Happy Meals here. I am. Do you want to be in it? Vlogger. I'll be on your YouTube channel. Yeah, do you want to be? <laughs> we can finally order now, all of our fans have left us away. <laughs> I'm more excited than I should be about this Happy Meal. The little Pikachu boxes are adorable. Amazing. I can't believe we just ordered cucumber sticks. This McDonald's is so different to anything in Japan. It's fun. I like seeing McDonald's in different countries. They're all a little bit different. In the, uh, the Japanese McDonald's, and they do a thing where like, in the evenings you get double burgers. Yeah, they give you Smash. double the meat, but they don't tell you. you. No, they, so if you order a double cheeseburger, you'll get a burger with like four patties because they double whatever you ordered. It's wild, yeah. Um, if you search for Sharla in Japan. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, one of them's in a Pikachu. Oh, this is a Pikachu. It's like an ear. Oh, it's because the sticker's on his face. Cheers. <laughs> oh, why, why would you do that? Where do you eat happy um, these days? I don't know. I guess like the park. I think down this way. Oh, you can pop out. Um, <laughs> you can pop out. Did you hear that guy? He's like, can you shout out my Snapchat? <laughs> Oh, it comes off real easily. Ah. You said you can put ears on it? Yep. Before we uh, tuck into the unboxing, we have to build them. What? Oh my god, that's so cute. What a cool idea. Oh, I was wondering why the ears were on the bottom. <laughs> it all makes sense. There we go. That's so cute. And then we have to tear this out. Which What's I that? I don't really know why. Oh no, his face. Oh, oh big god. Big uh, wait, why did. What? What was the point of that? I don't know. <laughs> to open it, I guess. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is for me, and you can have the cucumbers. Oh, cheers. This is just this wild to me to get cucumbers from McDonald's. What the hell? The inside temperature of a cucumber can be up to 20 degrees cooler than the outside air. Mm. Did you know that? I did not. That's really useful information. <laughs> Not overly good, are they? Tastes why, do they really weird. why do they taste like apples? Yeah, they don't taste like cucumbers. How do you mess up a cucumber? <laughs> That's worrying. <laughs> Ingredients: cucumber, 100%. Mm, not convinced. <laughs> Mama, here we go. Our signature gyoza. 
five dumplings packed with flavor. None of these are really a flavor you would find in Japan. Um, I might try chicken. I think I'm going to get yakitori. I found something exciting in the dessert menu. Banana katsu. It's banana covered in panko, served with miso ice cream. Chris hates Wagamama with a passion. We'll see if it lives up to his very low expectations today. <laughs> Dave's intrigued. Well, it looks like some sort of bog monster. It does look like a sea creature, doesn't it? Sea anemone. Ah, Cheers. Kanpai. Kanpai. Dave is learning Japanese using, what is it, lingo? No. Duolingo. Duolingo. Yeah. And we discovered that it has Hungarian on it. Mm. So I'm going to start doing it, but. I've learned all the words. Yeah. Uh, Gakko. Um, What's Gakko? School. Oh, Gakko. Gakko. You need to have that space in there because there's two Ks. Gakko. Uh, Gakko. Kipu. Kipu. Kipu, that's a good one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank oh, you. thank you. Oh, that looks good. Are you going to try some? No. <laughs> Why are you spinning it? This isn't B roll. Oh. <laughs> mm, it's, yeah, it's pretty nice. I would prefer it like, if it was Negama. Yeah. Add something a bit more to it, but it's nice. Just stick that in between. <laughs> Do you like cilantro? Thank you. So you don't have that gene that makes it taste like shit? No, it's great. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Banana katsu. Ooh, yes, thank you. That's right. Where this looks so have good. Your, uh, <laughs> I'll have your dessert until you have your yakitori. Shut up. It's not my yakitori, it's yours. This is this katsu banana. Miso vanilla ice cream and caramel sauce. Thank you. Ooh, good timing. Oh, now I need to eat the gyoza first. No, I really want to eat this. Mmm, it's crunchy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. How do they compare to the real deal? I mean, ones in Japan are definitely a lot better. But they, they weren't bad. They're just like a different thing. So the taste is really different. Japanese ones usually have like ginger and some other flavors mixed in with the meat. All right, now for the main event. Banana katsu with miso ice cream. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. <laughs> That's really good. That's such a nice combo. Damn, Chris is missing out hating on this restaurant. 10 out of 10, that's so good. It's such a nice combination of like a little bit of salty with the caramel and the miso ice cream. Do you want to get a bit of ice cream with it? Yeah, definitely. And then the sweet deep fried banana. Oh, it smells good. It's so good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's nice, right? It's amazing. Right? I don't even really like banana. Really? Well, I like the taste of banana, but I don't like the uh, texture of banana. Ah. Uh. But. Good. <laughs> That's really good. It's so good. This is probably the best thing I've eaten all day. I would come back here just for this. Thank Second you. banana, thank yeah, you. We ordered another banana. Ooh, ooh. We couldn't, two bananas last couldn't help ourselves. There was two bananas last time. Yep. It's just so good. You guys have to come here. Do you want so one of the good. bananas? Yes. <laughs> it looks so not aesthetic. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was not deliberate. <laughs> this looks so bad. Excellent. <laughs> it's me, so vanilla, yeah. <laughs> the top of it. <laughs> it's horrible. We're heading to the prison bar to open our Pokemon cards. Wow, this is so cool. All right, we're doing it. Which we're opening the Pokemon want? cards. It's that one. <laughs> There's five. <laughs> Come on in. Cheers. Some pie. Some pie. I have some soy. Ooh. Does it taste the same? Yes. <laughs> and I have a Guinness. <laughs> All right, shall we open our cards? How many are in here? Four of them. Oh, so good. You saw one. Oh, I got a shiny. What? Oh. Shiny classic. I'm assuming this is my only shiny card though, because usually there's only one. Right. What do you got? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> what is that? Kilo. Kilo watch. Kilo watch. I've never heard of that. Cool. Cool. Next, I have Cyclozar. I don't know who that is. Tanda. That's cute. Sandaconda. Is it an anaconda? Fuck 
Pokemon. Are they just made these up? Who's that Pokemon? Fuck knows. My last one is this shiny. Is it? It was, it was shiny. It? Oh, it is. Is this Rachel? Oh, yes. I'm so jealous. That's awesome. I'm so jealous. I think the power just went out. This is creepy. Now we're in an old jail in the dark. Look at the hallway, it's just pitch black. Ah, oh, they want us to leave. Oh. Yeah, you want to take well. So yeah, yeah. I can finish that. What are you filming? I'm filming a YouTube video. <laughs> All the alarms are going off. What a weird day this has been. We've got the best part happening tomorrow, so don't click off yet. I'll see you guys tomorrow at, what time is our reservation? 6 p.m. I think? 5? 5. Five. See you then. Good night. And here we are outside of the cat cafe here in Canterbury. I'm really excited to see what a British cat cafe is like. And I'm mainly just excited to see some cats. It's been, I think, three weeks that we've been in England now. And I miss the boys a lot, and I could use some cat cuddles. So let's go check it out. So this is Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's favorite gift shop before she tragically died last year. What she would have wanted is to be remembered in this dancing form factor. Available now, solar panel dancing queen. <laughs> We've got Prince Charles there as well, if you want that one, if you want the current one. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Where's the wobbly Prince Andrew? It, it, was, it, was, it was almost impossible for me to, to, to sweat. We've got lots of really cute cat stuff for sale. There's actually a stack of postcards over there that I'm definitely going to raid later because they're really cool. Cat postcards. Chris, got something for you. Cat dad. I like it. Before you guys go in, I'll just give you a quick um, rundown of our house rules. I'm sure you guys are all already familiar. Um, please just don't pick up the cats, wake up the cats, and if you're going to order anything, please don't feed them. If you want to pop yourself on the back corner, just there for us. Look at the sofa. I'm getting ideas for Nick on a and This is great, actually. She's um, I think I saw. Is that a cat? Oh my god. Oh. It's a sphinx! A cat in a cat cafe? I've never I've never touched a sphinx cat before. So this is really exciting. Oh, he's sleeping though. It's pretty old. The OAP of the cat world. College pensioner, in for a time. But yeah, absolutely. It's not very nice. This favourite green toy. Aww. It's pretty comfy though. I want to pet them, but I don't want to bug them. They all look so sleepy and comfy for you. I don't really want to disturb them. <laughs> Do we want more cats? When do we want them? Meow. <laughs> so this is Mama Claudia. <laughs> Mama Claudia, and those are her babies. And that is Gary, Uncle Gary. So we've got Barley, Bean, and Odie. Those are the three triplets. And then Uncle Gary is a Canadian elf sphinx, which is why he has little flip ears. Oh, I didn't know that was a Canadian. So he was rehomed because he was bullied by a cat named Beyonce. Oh my god, <laughs> of course he was. <laughs> Of course. So yeah, and is. fun fact about space cats is their body temperature runs three to four degrees hotter than any other cat breed, which is why they saw they go with a new wool blanket. So they're the little nice and warm little that snuggles. Is so adorable. Yeah. Who's your favorite? All of them. <laughs> Can't pick a favorite. They're so cute. I want a sphinx now. I've heard they have very nice personalities. They're really cuddly because they want to keep warm. So they're really clingy to their owners. I really like this place. I like how they let the cats kind of come and go as they please. So if they don't feel like socializing, they can go upstairs and hide from everybody. Gives you real pause for thought. For fuck's sake. It's not a catastrophe. Ooh, ice cream sundaes. This is cool because in Japan they usually separate 
the food and the cats, there's rules against having them together, so you kind of have to sit in a separate area to have the cafe stuff. But here, I think you can eat alongside the cats. You want to sign some more books? Uh, no, <laughs> not particularly. I've done 200 in the last two days. I was having a good scratch over. Oh, he's climbing, look. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. It's really going for it. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, so cute. Oh, he's got a toy, too. Yeah, there's a, there's a toy dangling from the post. Oh, oh, okay. What are you writing? Probably the best cat cafe I've ever been to. And I've been to a lot. When are you going to open a cat cafe? Now. Today. Are you going to work there? No. <laughs> I'll make the pasta. First time I went to a cat cafe, I had a pasta. Thank you. Wow, that looks amazing. Is that caramel sauce? <sighs> Maybe I should have gotten the caramel one. That looks good. But I have jammy dodgers in mine. God, that looks good. This is a sausage roll. It's a vegan a sausage vegan. roll. What is it? One of those vegan sausage rolls. <laughs> Smells good though. Rich pastry, getting hints of rhubarb. <laughs> It looks like a, you know, it smells good. A regular sausage roll. This is vegan. Very mm. good. Down. good. Yes, it has arrived. The jammy dodger sundae. I can't believe it was vegan ice cream. Yeah, everything's plant-based here. That's cool. Awesome. Mom. <laughs> um, I wonder what that cream is. It kind of tastes like Cool Whip. <laughs> so they hand out treats to everybody, and then we all no, shake not. them at the same time. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> and then they all come down from upstairs because they hear the treats. Oh, there's one that looks like Mario. Uh oh. Uh oh. Treat time. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at all. Whoa. Here they come. Cat parade. Oh. Aww. So we've got these little marshmallows, we've got waffle, we've got mayonnaise, we've got pumpkin, barley, oaty, fungus. Fungus? Wait, which one's fungus? <laughs> fungus, fungus is this one. <laughs> we call him Gus for short. <laughs> Why is his name fungus? <laughs> oh, oh baby. He's going to try and get oh. absolutely all of those treats and go for it immediately. He deserves them he with a name like that. Them. Let's get bored. Of course. Yeah, yeah Charlotte. Greedy fungus. <laughs> See it's greedy puss. Oh, he's so cute. Fungus. He does look like Mara. Mara and Tuna would kill for this selection of cat toys. Look at all the stick toys. There's so many different ones. This one's cute. Oh, it's massive. Let's see if we can find a cat to entice with this. Our time is up. It's 6.05. I do not want to leave. I'll be back here for sure. This place was really good. So if you guys happen to be in Canterbury, England, and you want to come meet some really friendly, cute cats and stuff are wonderful. The Sundays were amazing. I recommend the Jammy Dodger one. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun exploring all the different Japanese options that are here in Canterbury. This isn't even like a massive city like London, and there's so many Japanese things here. I'm kind of blown away, really. I'll link everything down below. If you're here, you want to try it yourself. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Bye.